I'm married, 24 years, two children, two boys. That's my hobby. They are, they are my hobby. You're in a routine every day and then all of a sudden you're not in a routine and things just change. I wasn't feeling well, I was tired. Just knew I didn't feel right. I decided to do a wellness profile at Mary Greeley. You know, I figured I might have, I'm low on something or there was something they could just give me pill-wise and I'd be better. Sally Overland in Story City, she had advised one of her nurses to call me and say you need to come in right away and that I needed to come down to oncology that same day. Found out that I had um, acute myeloid leukemia. I was nervous, scared, not sure long term what, what was going to happen and, and if I was going to be cured or if it was the curable kind. The data would suggest that most patients with this subvariant of uh, the FLT3 mutation uh, don't tend to do as well, and most of them would tend to need uh, an allogenic stem cell transplant for improved responses to this leukemia because it doesn't tend to respond as well to the conventional chemotherapy. That first day, it was like I, I asked, Well, how does a person get this? And he spelled out the words bad luck. B-A-D-L-U-C-K. Fortunately, there is a new drug that was uh, currently in the FDA pipeline for blocking the FLT3 mutation. Um, just in her case, we were able to get a drug even though it's not approved uh, through uh, excellent collaboration teamwork by McFarland Clinic, Mary Greeley, the clinical trials office, to be able to get a drug that is only open in a few institutions, but we were able to use, uh, get a compassionate use for her, and I think that speaks for our institution as well. The people up at um, McFarland Clinic, up on oncology floor, you can tell that they care about the people that come in there. You can tell that they like what they do. I felt so comfortable with the way I was treated and the way they communicated with me that I just kind of felt like I didn't want to go anywhere else. She's a delight to take care of. Um, she's uh, very, very optimistic. She's uh, very forthcoming with her uh, symptoms and her complaints and her questions, which I appreciate. And she's very well uh, sort of trying to keep on top of things. Just stay positive. Keeping a positive attitude and having positive people around you um, is, gonna, is what's going to get you through it. Yeah, and family because they're, they're your support team, definitely. <laughs>